my beauties. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today we are going to talk about um, my five favorite palettes or my most used palettes of 2015. So I figured I'd again share with you some palettes that I was using throughout the year quite a bit and what my favorites seem to have been that I seem to have gravitated a good bit to. Um, and it was pretty crazy because this year I had gotten quite a few palettes and I did get overwhelmed, which is very easy to do. And um, so at first I wasn't really finding myself gravitating too much to uh, some newer palettes. Um, some of these palettes, I believe, or maybe I did get them all in 2015. I'm not quite sure, but these are just the ones that I gravitated to and grabbed quite a bit throughout the year. If you would like to know what my five favorite palettes are, go ahead and stick around and keep watching. All right, so the five palettes I have here in front of me, they're not necessarily all eyeshadow palettes. These are just palettes. So they're not necessarily all eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I'm going to share with you guys is a palette from Too Faced, and it is called um, the Selfie Powders. And I believe I did do, I can't even remember, isn't that terrible? But I believe I did do a review on it and discussed about it on my channel. And it's a really nice palette. I grabbed it so much this year and I have really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't find it to be, you know, too shimmery or too, too anything, you know, I, I really liked it. Um, I know some people weren't feeling it because they felt like it wasn't showing, but it's basically, um, you know, similar to them ambient powders that we see from um, Hourglass or, you know, any of those kind of powders that we see. And it's a light filtering, uh, photo enhancing, or photo enhancing powders. So it's it's going to give you a nice flawless look to your skin, um, and dim diminish the pores. Like you know, just give you a nice good um, look overall to your look when you're getting maybe pictures taken or just you know anything like that. So I really was liking these. There's like a um, Purple shade, or purple shade, not shadow, shade called Moon River. I have used that one a good bit. There's Totally Toasted, which is a bronzy kind of a shade, and then Sunrise is more the yellow shade, which I've used them all. Um, in the summertime, I used the Sunrise and Totally Toasted a good bit just to um, give a little more glow, because that's pretty much what those two can give you a little more of a glow where the purple shade um, just kind of diffuses the light, you know, like kind of just um, gives you a nice, sort of sort of like the Fergie take on the day powder that I like, kind of something like that. Gives you a nice, really nice coverage. So, um, and I believe you can still get it. I don't think it was any limited edition or anything like that. So I'm not sure of the price, um, not sure of the price, but this is a palette that I've used so much. Um, all right, for an eyeshadow palette that I have here, I got this this year, probably several months back now. So I did get it halfway within the year, maybe, I, I'm not sure exactly when it came out, maybe October, um, September, I, I'm not quite sure, not really sure. But it's the, um, whoops, my thing's falling out here, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the World Traveler palette. Um, if I can find a link, I'm... I did see it on uh, a site or two other sites that you still can get it. I will double check into that and if I can find it I will put the link down below. But um, so yeah this palette here, which hopefully my brush doesn't fall out, I'll hold on to it, has these beautiful gorgeous shades in here. Um, you know there's the uh, pink champagne that so many people are talking about and it is a really gorgeous color. I really like using pink champagne a lot for, um, let's say I put uh, this Mor Morocco, yeah Morocco, which I do love, it's a matte shade. 
let's say I put it on top of that, it gives it a little extra something to it and changes like the whole look, which is simply pretty. Um, Morocco is my favorite matte shade in here. Probably Morocco and the Soft Peach. Soft Peach, a lot of times I use on my whole eye, eyelid and everything. And Morocco, I love for my uh, transition color. Um, what's the other shade? Oh, Intense Gaze. I love that shade too, that Intense Gaze. It's almost like um, a pinky red shade of some sort. Um, like right there it's it's just beautiful so it, it's really pretty um but the, the the whole thing is gorgeous and it was my first time to even try any um anastasia um my first time to try her eyeshadows and i was su super glad i did because this is an amazing palette and i used it so much um I think even on my last, was it my last video? One of my last videos or something, I had this on. So I gravitated to it a lot. So blush palette. Um, I have come to really fall in love the Lorac um, palettes or the Lorac blushes. I've come to fall in love with the Lorac blushes. And this is the Lorac Unzip Cheek Palette. And you get four beautiful shades of blushes there. And I have noticed they have it back on, it, Alta is the only place I see that you can get it. Um, but it has your beautiful like a, a berry tone, a hot pink tone, a peachy tone, and a bronzy tone. And these I mean, their, their blushes are just super pigmented. So, I mean, they're just intensely crazy. So I just, I really love their blushes. And I have a couple other ones, um, a baked one, and I forget what the other one is, but I just, I really love them. All right, so the next palette I've been using this baby up a lot, even more than the first one that came out, is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. <sighs> I have been just using the heck out of this thing. Um, <laughs> it's quite obvious, you can see the areas where I'm dipping a lot. Um, for instance, uh, well the tangerine totally gets me, I love the tangerine shade. And the melon shade, the kojo shade, this kojo shade, oh my goodness, the cabernet shade, um, custard, I use a good bit just all over on the eyelid, um, sugar, and seashells are a nice one too. Sh seashell I use a lot in the inner corner. Uh, Moonlight's another good one I've used in the inner corner. Uh, Penny, I mean, they're just, I could go on and on. This is just a lovely palette. And lighting never does any justice. I mean, you almost have to see this palette in person to really appreciate it. I actually used Forest recently, this green shade. Oh my goodness. I actually put it on my lid and then I used the L'Oreal Infallible um, Golden Emerald. Yeah, Golden Emerald. Oh my God, put it right on top. It just, and then mixed in with um, some of these orangey shades above. Oh my goodness, it just, I loved it. Beautiful, beautiful. So I was really happy with that look. So yes, that is well worth every penny. This palette. Love it. The thing is these palettes can get pretty dirty pretty quickly. And then the other one is my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I use this all the time. Um, I will switch around sometimes, but it is a constant use item. Um, these two, the beige highlight and the yellow highlight, I like to dip into both of them and then go underneath my eye area and set everything. Um, I use all the contour shades a lot of times to 
work in and um, the light contour is perfect for the nose area and the deep contour is perfect for when you start like back in through here to start working the contour the medium contour I just I do do up and around somewhat with the forehead um, and the shimmer highlight I do use it sometimes it's not a very intense highlight um, but it does have a nice shimmer to it and gives nice this little subtle glow so I really I'm so glad that I invested in this one here because it's like an overwhelming overload of these contour highlight palettes out there and I just wasn't sure which one I wanted to get and knowing how I feel about Lorac in general and the company and my experience with a lot of the products I've used so far um, it was a no-brainer I thought I'm just I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna get that and give it a go and I love it I'm so glad I, I got it and um, you actually get a brush I don't have the brush with me you get a nice um, contour brush with it and I think the brush is like $22 and it comes free with that um, contour palette um, I think the contour palette was like around 40 some dollars I think I'm not sure <laughs> terrible with remembering numbers so that is all the palettes that I wanted to share with you that I was pretty much favoring a lot in 2015 so it's gonna be interesting to see 2016 can't believe we're gonna be saying that here soon but yep it's a coming and look for a video I will be doing my favorites of 2015 like some other products in general I wanted to separate this I figured I would show some palettes so anyway beauties I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thank you for joining me and um, if you did like the video please get a thumbs up that would help me out so much and get my videos out there even more and I really appreciate it and um, if you are not subscribed to my channel you can go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below and you can join me each week I will have um, something about beauty each week just you know randomly and different things do please remember to just be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through okay so until the next time, y'all take care and I will see you then. Bye. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day. Bye-bye.